my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Shakes Kyra Favored, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC, or you can call me Rashim Pundu if you like. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you are new on this channel, the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Rashim Pundu has posted a new video. Well, right away, I'm, I'm going to go um, into something that happened um, just this week. Um, yeah, it's it's about Mili Beauty product who featured on Tuvwange show that shows on Zambezi Magic. Of course, most of the people um, knows about this um, program, TV program that shows they bring in a lot of different people, uh, different personalities, and they discuss different things, you know. And on this particular show, uh, Mili Beauty used some words that were not uh, kind enough all right and um, uh, it's it's a topic uh, about uh, period poverty the ladies issues you know and so when she used those words that were not okay which i'll be talking about i'll read for you so that i don't miss a single thing of what she said but then she has apologized after uh, the director of vision zambia initiative a director who is uh, namutula sindila complained about it that it was not all right and this is what she said before i read the apology i want to uh, read what um uh, the vision zambia initiative director namutula sindila said okay vision zambia not happy with mili beauty sentiments vision zambia initiative is saddened by sentiments expressed by a guest on tuvange lifestyle TV show Mili of the Mili Beauty Products. Vision Zambia Initiative Director Namutula Sindila said negative and uninformed sentiments from people, especially famous social media personalities, have the potential to derail good intentions meant to help Zambian girl children. During the show, which aired on Zambezi Magic at 21.30 on Thursday, 8th April 2021. Millie is quoted to have said, there is no period poverty unless Mwana Samvela Chabe, unless uh, the child is promiscuous. Miss Sindila said, Millie, like many other people, may need to understand the definition of period poverty and the impact it has on young girls affected by it. An average 1 million girls in Zambia will miss about 45 days of their yearly school calendar because of their inability to afford, I beg your pardon, to afford hygienic absorption methods during their menses. Apart from that, schools mainly in rural, uh, in rural areas have no adequate sanitation or private bathrooms where girls can clean themselves. Miss Sindila, in a statement released today, Miss Sindila said, Vision Zambia Initiative is of the view that Tuvwange Lifestyle Talk Show was a good platform that could have been used to highlight the many challenges that a lot of girls face and probably advocate for the better prizes or at least scrapping off a tampoon tax which is levied on sanitary products. The platform could have been used to lobby for policy implementation after the menstrual bill which was passed in parliament in 2019 which is yet to materialize. I wish to thank Natasha for supporting the call to distribute free pads as opposed to distribution of free condoms, Miss Sindila said. Miss Sindila has appealed to the producer of the show to invite guests who are better or who better understand period poverty to comment on the matter. Okay, well, when this was posted all over social media, a lot of people said, um, or reacted and the reactions were of course blaming Millie Beauty products of what she said um, because whatever answer she gave or whatever she said it looked as a person who don't understand this period poverty um, is all about somebody 
who has not researched somebody who doesn't know what she was talking about and then the people were not happy about that all right um, and especially her being a woman she was supposed to know better than giving the answer that she gave and so after people complained they aired their views and what they thought about um, what Millie said Millie it got to Millie and she accepted um, uh, a wrong um, and this is what she said in a statement on Facebook and of course I'm gonna give some reactions of what people have said towards her statement and her apology and this is um, what she writes on the 9th. The Tuvange show aired on 8th. Complaint came on the 9th. And Milias apologized on the 9th of April 2021. This is what she says. Fellow Zambians, I would like to unreservedly apologize to the public on the sentiments I made on period poverty when I featured on Zambezi Magics. Vwange Lifestyle TV show, which aired on Thursday, 8th April 2021 at 21.30 hours. I have come to realize that my public relations PR department did not do a good job as far as researching on the subject period poverty and thereby making me misleading the masses during the show. So when some people got this part, what Millie is blaming the PR, public relations department, that they did not do a good job in researching, people have reacted on that part and they said she could have only apologized without involving the PR. How has the pu uh, public relations come in on her answering the question about uh, period poverty? Because when she was on the show, she was not reading a speech. And the public relations department can only be blamed if it was a written uh, speech. And even if it was a written speech, for your better understanding, as the person who has a PR, you're supposed to go through the speech. You're supposed to be informed. And so those are some of the things that people were saying on the comment section. Like you can't blame them. You can't even uh, say the PR and all that because you are supposed to be informed as a person. If they gave you a speech on a paper, you have to go through so that you verify everything is okay. But then you didn't even have a paper. There you are just talking. So you can't blame the, P, the PR uh, person or people or department. That's according to the people as they were commenting on her apology post on Facebook. Kindly note that it was not my intention to cause pain and derail the works of advocating for the period poverty in the country. As a mother with girls and as a woman, I regret and retract the statement that I made. To this effect, I have immediately suspended my entire PR department because I do not take lightly to such matters. Let me also state that I have offered myself to be an advocate using my influence as a public figure. I have learned the extent that this health matter is affecting millions of girls, children in Zambia and across the globe. My wish and prayer is that this will be the beginning of greater advocacy on the matter and that ways to help especially rural girls who are mostly vulnerable with quickly, uh, will quickly be found. I further would like to thank the producers of Tuvange Lifestyle Show for according me the opportunity to feature on their program, which is doing a commendable job in bringing life-changing social programs. I further wish to apologize to Zambezi Magic on uh, the entire team and to the, Zambezi, uh, to the Zambia uh, masses who got offended by sentiments. I look forward to working closely with Vision Zambia Initiative and other partner organizations in lobbying for the girl child and ensuring that the menstrual bill is materialized as a matter of urgency. Lastly, but not the least, I wish to extend an invitation to Ms. Namutula, 
Sindila Vision Zambia Initiative Director to come and feature on our Facebook platform and advocate for period poverty. Only when we begin to put together in that direction as women, civil society organizations and social media influencers with the right tools and information, then we will be able to reach the masses and make a difference. Yours truly, Millie. So that's what was happening. That's what was happening. And she has apologized. Though I would love to um, ask her to bring back the PR uh, department. If they have accepted their wrong and they say sorry. Like Millie Beauty said sorry. Why not bring them back than just suspending them? Because they made a mistake. Like she made a mistake. So I'm sure she can bring them back so that she can tell them to say look guys next time before i go this is what is supposed to be done because we've made this mistake it's not entirely about the pr guys or pr department it's about a milli beauty product and them they have to work as a team so since the mistake is done the only thing is talk to them and tell them look we made a mistake next time this is what is supposed to be done so that it's not repeated than just suspending them instantly all right, my name is Peter Shakespeare Favorite, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC, or you can call me Vashimpundu if you like. If you are new and have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Vashimpundu has posted a new video. God bless you and...